So, after a weekend of work, I have gotten the inside wall to be mostly air sealed. I do have to go along the top of the wall and all the way around and then around just a few windows and doors. And then I've got the entire section air sealed. So let me show you a little bit what that's like. So all of these flat seams in between the large sheets of plywood were taped when the wall is lying on the deck, which makes it much easier. You can do a much better job and then you stand the wall up already taped. And then the connection in between the first wall and the second story, you can tape once it's up. But that's basically the first taping that you do is the seams in between the plywood. Here I have a tape joint in between the new wall and the existing wall. Um, and on this case, I'm using 3M 8067 flashing tape. The only reason for that was because when I did that, it was about 20 degrees and the other tapes that I had just would not function in the cold. So that tape performed amazing in the cold. It stayed nice and pliable and sticky. So you also want to tape, if you're doing a double wall construction, you want to tape your wall down to your OSB subfloor. You also want to get tape in the doorway and tape the door buck material as well. So I used some pretty heavy beams in the floor for this structure and so I had some awkward wall joints and that's kind of what that big mess of black tape is there in the corner. Um, you'll want to make sure you have everything taped well. And I actually have a hole there that I need to fill with something else. That's like one of the last taping items that I have. You want to get your corners taped well and then carry that all the way up to the peak. So make sure you tape every seam everywhere you think air might go through. If you have any large holes in your OSB or plywood, make sure you tape those as well. I was actually just reading that for plywood, some plywoods you need to tape the end grain of the plywood because air can leak through there. I will not be doing that on my structure, but you could if you wanted to be 100% sure that no air was getting out. Or getting in. Um, again I had an awkward corner up there on that part um, but I've got a window buck to do up there. I've got to tape that. Um, I've got to tape the top of this wall but most everything is taped. So I'm gonna tape this corner on the inside of this window buck to seal this edge. I like to leave it a little long on each edge um only about an inch and then you know figure out how long it's going to be and then go ahead and cut it so then you peel the peel the membrane off of the backing instead of the backing off of the membrane and then run it down your corner. So then place it in the corner and pick a spot and kind of press really hard to activate the adhesive. And then what I like to do is peel most of the backing off and then press it into the corner of the place I'm working. Once I've got it most of the way in, then you Get your press fix tool and press. The press fix tool is what activates the adhesive. And then I go back and dress my corners. So I found the taping part of this project 
extremely frustrating. And generally when I have a frustrating part of a project, I am not also trying to take good video of it. So I don't have any video of the taping of most of this because it was really, really hard. Um, as you can see in this structure, I've used three different types of tape. Um, I don't think zip system is meant to be an air sealing tape. I just happen to have many rolls of it. Um, the 3M is actually a flashing tape and it's not really meant for air sealing either. Um, and the last tape that you probably saw me use is called Tescon Vanna, which is meant to be an air sealing tape because it's a vapor open tape um, and, and does a really nice job. It's also the easiest to work with. So highly recommend that tape. Um, there's not really much that I'm going to be able to tell you about air sealing that you're not already going to know once you get into doing this. If you're building a double wall construction, you have two walls. One of them is an air barrier, and you'll know if there's a gap between two boards, it's got to be covered by tape. And there are lots and lots of gaps between boards. And so what I found about this part is that it's just like miles and miles of tape. And once you think you're done, you see five more spots and then you got to go tape those. So just prepare yourself. Um, I would say start at the foundation, look at the gap in between your foundation and your first floor, and then work up from there. Every piece of plywood needs to be taped. Every intersection between uh, top plate and bottom plate needs to be taped. Uh, you have to top tape the top of the sheathing to the top of the wall. All of the window bucking needs to be taped on the inside and on the outside. And then, you know, any intersection with your current structure needs to be taped. Um, and, you know, any awkward connections where, you know, you're doing the sheathing and it doesn't line up with the next piece, patch it with a piece of OSB or plywood and tape that. So... That's what I got for the taping section. Hopefully it was enough to get you started. Thanks for watching.